So if you have a vehicle and you hear a ticking noise coming from the engine when it's idling or when you're accelerating, when you're moving down the road, I thought I'd go over some of the causes of this and how you go about trying to find out where the noise is coming from. And so first of all is does the sound increase with the engine RPM or does it increase with speed when you're moving? So for example, if the vehicle's parked and you go to step on the gas pedal and the ticking noise goes up and down with the RPM, then this is gonna be something's going on with the engine, some kind of engine component, like a bad belt, bearing, lifter, something along these lines. But if the ticking sound increases with speed when you're moving, then it's gonna be something along the lines like a tire or a CV axle or a drive line or something like that. If the sound does increase when you're moving with speed, the one thing to do is go check your tires. Be sure something like a rock didn't get stuck in them or a nail or something like that because that does happen sometimes debris gets stuck in the tires and it could cause a ticking noise and another thing you could try to do is you could try to locate where the sound is coming from mainly if it's coming from the top of the engine or the bottom of the engine although usually when you hear a noise from the bottom of the engine it's going to be like a knocking noise or a thud noise and that would be something like a bad bearing or a bad rod or something like that so usually a ticking noise is going to be coming from the top of the engine but if possible try to tell if it's coming from the top of the engine or the bottom of the engine and so what would be some possible causes of a ticking noise well the first thing that could cause is going to be low engine oil if the engine oil is low, it's going to cause the valve train to be louder, which is going to cause a ticking noise. So first thing to do is go check your engine oil. Be sure that it's good, that it's at the correct level. Low oil pressure can also cause this issue, which would be something like a bad oil pump or something like that. But usually when that happens, you're going to get a code. So your engine light will come on. And then when you scan the computer, you're going to get something like a P0521 or something like that. And then that would point to something like a bad oil pump. But the first thing to do when you hear a ticking noise is go check your oil and be sure that it's at the correct level. The next thing that could cause this problem is going to be that there's an exhaust leak somewhere. And this should usually be up around the exhaust manifold somewhere, right where it bolts onto the engine. This is a common source of ticking noises. Basically where that exhaust manifold bolts on, there's going to be gaskets that help it seal. And if one of these gaskets blows out or anything like that, or any of these bolts that hold it on get loose, then it could cause a leak and they'll start to make a ticking noise when that happens. There's some different ways you could check for an exhaust leak. Some mechanics will use a smoke machine and they'll feed smoke into the exhaust and then wherever the smoke comes out, they'll know where the leak's at. Another method is that you put an air hose into the exhaust pipe and then you use some soapy water and you go around with a spray bottle or something along those lines and you just check to see if any bubbles are coming out around the exhaust manifold. So there's a few different methods that you can use, but the next thing that could cause this is going to be an exhaust leak. Another thing that could cause ticking noise is going to be the CV axles. And usually when one of these goes bad, they make a ticking noise when you go to turn right or you go to turn left. So anytime you go to make a turn, they'll start making a ticking noise. That's very common with these. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad CV axle. Another common cause is going to be the valve train. And this is going to be things along the lines like the lifter, rocker arm, the cam, push rods, things like this. And basically these are the rocker arms. These are pushing down on the valves. Over here would be a push rod and they'd be pushing down on the lifter. And basically when these have an issue, this rocker arm isn't tight anymore. It'll be loose and rattling around, sometimes only a little bit, and then sometimes a lot. It's really just going to vary on what went bad. For example, right here, this one's really bad. The lifter completely gave out, and you can actually just pick it up and move it around because these are supposed to be tight and snug down on here with the push rod on this side and then push it down on the valve. But the next thing that could cause is that something went wrong inside the valve train. The next thing on the list is going to be a bad fuel injector. These can go bad and start really causing the tapping noise really bad. Usually when you have a bad fuel injector, you're going to get some kind of code. So for example, you might get something like a P0301 cylinder one misfire or something along those lines. So if you do think you have a bad fuel injector, be sure to scan for codes. The next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad purge valve. These are located up inside the engine compartment and sometimes they do cause a ticking noise. A really quick way you can check to see if it is the purge valve is that you can unplug it and just see if the ticking goes away. The computer might give you a code if you do unplug it, but if you unplug it and the ticking stops, then you know it's a bad purge valve. And the last thing on the list is going to be that there's something going on with the timing chain. It's possible that it skipped a notch and the engine's not timed correctly anymore. The timing chain and the gears will have timing marks. And if these don't line up, then it's going to cause issues. It's going to throw the timing off and things like this. And this can cause issues and cause things like the valve train to start making noise and things along these lines. It's also, these timing chains or timing belts can become loose with age and they can get stretched out. And when the engine's running, sometimes they can start making some noise or they could throw the timing off just slightly, which will cause the valve train to start making noise like the lifters and the rocker arms and things like this. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over some of the causes of a ticking noise in the engine when it's idling or when you're accelerating. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.